In today's video, we're talking about the seven items that should be in every man's closet, your wardrobe minimalist essentials. So let's start things off with footwear. I think every man in his minimalist wardrobe needs to have at least one pair of casual shoes, one pair of dress shoes, and one pair of boots. So when it comes to casual shoes, you've got a lot of options out there. Maybe start off with a white sneaker. This, what's great about this, it's going to work with a wide variety of outfits. The only downside, it's going to get dirty pretty quick. But let's say you want to keep it clean. You don't really want to deal with any stains. Then go with a solid black, especially right here in the sole. This right here is going to hide any scuff marks. But let's say you want something that's going to stand out from the crowd. So you bring in something like this. It's going to have the navy blue, a bit of suede. Going to have that dark brown. Again, look great with jeans. Going to stand out from the crowd. But you want to bring in something even a step up, then what you want to focus in on is the sole. You want to go with a more, basically more delicate, a smaller, thinner sole. This is going to be a step up. The green suede in here though is going to make this a little bit harder to match, but let's say you want to even dress it up a bit. Then you could go with something that has a classic dress shoe design, but maybe has a suede, has a perforated leather as something like this. This is going to be dressier and this is now taking us into the dress shoes. So a great option, especially if you don't dress up much, is to go with a casual loafer this right here, a great place to start. But let's say you do wear suits. Then in that case, you want to get a dress shoe that's going to work with your suits right here in a medium brown. Now, if you want to bring in a bit more style, maybe bring in a double monk. What I like about this right here is it's going to stand out from a lot of the other dress shoes out there. Now, if you're just starting off buying your first pair of shoes, you need something that's a bit more formal because you wear suits often, then this is going to be the shoe you want to start with. It's the Black Balmoral Oxford. This is going to be for the guy that needs to wear a suit often. Now let's talk boots. Like shoes, tons of options out there. So you wear suits a lot, you dress up, you're in New York City, maybe consider a Chelsea, a great boot. But let's say you want something a bit more casual, then maybe look for a pair of Chuckos. What's nice about these, you can wear them with jeans. They're going to be overall a more casual design. Now going with a Chucka that has a little bit more attention drawing power to it, right here we've got the blue suede. If you want something that's a little bit more built, then go with something that's got a combat boot design. This is something that's going to look great with jeans, maybe dress it up with a sports jacket, give it a nice shine. The point is boots give you tons of options. They should be in your minimalist wardrobe. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking, Antonio, you said you'd cover three pairs of shoes. You ended up covering 10. I want to go buy them all. Plus, I know you're going to cover more items in today's video. How do I buy this all and save money? Well, gents, what if there was a way to take all these items, put them into a wish list and actually monitor when they go on sale, when the best deal is available so that you can be notified and save money and go grab these items? That's exactly what today's sponsor does. Gents, let me introduce you to Shop this is your personal shopping assistant that always finds the best deal for you. This is the way it works. Step one, browse your favorite online stores just as you normally would. Step two, you see a product you like, but you're not ready to buy it just yet. You then simply save it to your universal wish list. And step three, you're automatically notified when your selected favorite products go on sale, are about to sell out, or come back in stock again. Guys, it's really that simple. ShopTagger helps you shop smart and it works on your phone, works on your computer, and it's absolutely free. What I love about this, guys, is it's saving you money. It doesn't cost you anything. You're putting these items that you know you want to have for your interchangeable core wardrobe in your wish list. And when they drop below a certain price or they go on sale, you're notified. So you're saving money and you're building your interchangeable wardrobe. ShopTagger works on over 3,000 stores and it's not just clothing. Guys, if you're going to pick up a new fragrance, you're going to pick up a new computer or a new camera. You want to use ShopTagger. It's going to save you money. Gentlemen, I'm linking to ShopTagger down in the description. Use that link to install it on your phone, on your computer. This is going to save you money. It's absolutely free. Download and use this tool. The next item in your minimalist wardrobe, pants, aka trousers. So there's a wide variety here. Let's break out the exact details. Two pairs of dark colored denim. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. In the United States and most of the world, this is going to be an incredibly versatile pair of trousers. Make sure that these fit you. Very important. And you want to go for a style that complements your body build. Now, what types of denim work for each body build? Guys, I've got an infographic right here, which by the way, I will also link to it down in the description. Next up, we've got slacks and you should have at least two pairs. Now, which ones you're going to go with? You've got a wide variety of options. Gray flannel. I've talked about this. I think it's a great option, especially if you're in an area that gets a bit cool. Gray in general is a good color for trousers, for pants. It's going to match pretty much any shirt, any jacket, any pair of shoes in your wardrobe. Now, what about commuter pants? I've seen these out there. I think that actually they made a lot of strides. I actually really like them. The key with commuter pants is make sure that they're not made in too casual of a style. Now, 
what about khakis? Khakis are fine as long as they fit you well. Now, chinos. Chinos are going to be more casual. Again, going to be made in a lighter tan color. You can go with reds. You can go with blues. The tan is just a place to start. Next up, one pair of shorts. Now, if you live in a really hot environment, you love wearing shorts, you understand they're casual, you got great looking legs, they make you look good, then go for it. Pick up a few more pairs. But I don't think most men understand just how casual shorts are and how they don't work for most body types. Instead, you should look at tropical weight wool trousers. They're going to be just as comfortable, just as cool, and they're going to look infinitely more stylish. Next up, we've got collared shirts, two main families here. We've got dress shirts and collared button downs. Now, dress shirts, these are going to be the most formal of the collared shirts. They're made to be worn as an underpiece, so you should have a jacket that's going over them. Now, how do you identify a dress shirt? A dress shirt normally is going to have one pocket on the side or no pockets, and it's not going to have epaulets. It's not going to have any stylistic design. It's going to normally be a solid color, but you will see them in stripes and you are going to see them in check patterns. Now, with casual button downs, as the name implies, these shirts are going to be styled in a way that they're much more casual. So, we're going to see a wider variety of styles and patterns. Maybe we're going to see double pockets with buttons on the chest. We're also going to see maybe a tab over here that allows you to roll up the sleeve and to basically hold it there. We're also going to see epaulets perhaps on the shoulders. When we look at the collars, we could see a button down. When we look at the front placket, we may actually see contrasting fabrics in on here. These are all casual button down features. Now, I do think every man should have at least seven button down shirts. If you're going to be wearing suits, sports jackets, then probably five dress shirts to two casual button downs. And if you're on the opposite side, you're much more casual in your style then you probably want to go with five here and two when it comes to dress shirts. And gents, if you're trying to figure out what colors work for your skin tone, check out this infographic right here. I created this so it would be really easy for you to find the right shirt color that works with your colors. So, the next items in our core wardrobe, gents, non-collared shirts. So, I'm talking about t-shirts and I'm talking about Henleys. Now, it's important to note that t-shirts and Henleys are knits. Unlike the other shirts we just talked about, those can be adjusted. With t-shirts and Henleys, they are going to be worn as they are bought. So, it's important when you buy these that you buy a size that actually fits your body type. Now, with t-shirts, you want to go with a solid color. White, black, navy, maroon, dark green, tons of options out there. Maybe look at a v-neck. A v-neck, I think on the right body type looks great. You nail that fit, you get that v-neck in with a dark color. This is something actually you can wear with nice trousers in and by itself if you've got the body to support it. And let's talk Henleys. I like them because they're not as common as t-shirts. They're going to help you stand out from the crowd. Short sleeve, long sleeve really depends on you. I like the long sleeve because again, you can just roll it up a bit. Again, a great option, a great alternative to the t-shirt. Next up, we've got the suit, sports jacket, and blazer. And I think two in every man's wardrobe. You can go with a mix. If you're a bit more conservative, you wear a suit every day. Of course, you're going to want to have more than just two. So, what's the difference between a suit, a sports jacket, and a blazer? A suit is going to have a jacket and a trouser made from the same material. In general, we're going to see suits in darker colors. Sports jackets, they're going to come in a wide variety of colors, lighter colors like this. This is a sports jacket. Now, with blazers, we're going to oftentimes see in a darker color color. Traditionally, we're going to see navy. They're going to sometimes have a nautical theme. So, we're going to see a gold button, sometimes with a little anchor on it. Now, let's talk outerwear. Two pieces here. I want to see one that's high style. I want to see one that's high function. So, the high function piece, this is going to be something to protect you from the elements. If you're in an extreme weather place, maybe northern Minnesota, in that case, yes, you want to go with a parka and you're probably going to need a few other jackets. But if you're over in Seattle, if you're over in Southern California, a good functional jacket, you want to have something like a shell, something that's going to be in a classic conservative, maybe gray, black, maybe a tan color, something that's going to work to cover your suits. If you've got to dress well, it's raining outside. Now, let's talk about that high fashion piece, that piece of outerwear. When you wear it, you feel like a million bucks. Maybe it's a suede jacket. It's a racer leather jacket. It's something when you put it on, people give you compliments. That's what I'm looking for here. Something that when you wear it, you feel great. So, now let's talk about accessories. We're talking about hats, sunglasses, watches, and more. Guys, go check out the accessories I recommend this summer in this video right here. Five accessories that every man needs to own this summer. Go check it out. This is for hot weather. You're going to absolutely love this video.